In this video, I want to show you how to use FIFO to calculate ending inventory and cost of goods sold when a company uses a periodic inventory system. So just a quick review, a periodic inventory system means that we don't make any journal entries at all to recognize changes in inventory or cost of goods sold throughout the period. We wait to the end of the period and then we recognize cost of goods sold and inventory, okay? So let's say that we have a company that makes board games with an accounting theme. Sounds exciting, I know. So let's say that we've got a series of dates here that are throughout our month when we've made purchases and we've made sales of those board games, okay? So we're a retailer, we buy the board games from a manufacturer and then we resell them. So on January 1st, we purchased 20 board games at a cost of $35 a board game, okay? $35 a unit, 20 units. And then on January 6th, we make a second purchase, but this time we buy 30 board games and it costs $40 a unit, okay? So the price is different. It's the exact same board game, but the prices have gone up, okay? Now on January 8th, we don't make any purchases at all, but we sell 40 board games. So then the question is gonna be, how do we recognize cost of goods sold and so forth? But before we get to that, finally, on January 13th, we purchased 25 board games at $50 a unit, okay? So this is the series of purchases and sales that we've had throughout the period. Now the question is, how do we calculate cost of goods sold and ending inventory using FIFO? Remember, FIFO means first in, first out, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to wait to the end of the period again, so let's just say that it's uh, January 31st or something is the end of the period, or it could be the end of the year, the end of the quarter and so forth. But in this case, let's just say it's the end of the month. And now we're trying to figure out what our cost of goods sold and ending inventory are. So we're gonna go and say, all right, let's look to figure the cost of goods sold. FIFO means first in, first out. So we've sold 40 units. So they're first going to come from those purchases here on January 1st, because those are the first ones that we're in. They're going to be the first ones that are out. So we have cost of goods sold is 20 units times $35 a unit. That's from right there. But we still have another 20 units because this is just 20, but we sold 40. So then the next 20 units are going to come out of this 30 from January 6th purchase. So that's 20 units at $40 a unit. So we add those together and that gives us $1,500 as our cost of goods sold. It's not quite that simple. I'll come back to that in a minute, but let's do the ending inventory. So now the ending inventory, we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna say, well, if we took 20 units out of here and then 20 units out of here, that basically leaves 10 units here and then the whole 25 here, okay? So then we're gonna have 25 units times $50 a unit, that's gonna be an ending inventory, and then 10 out of this 30, that's going to be, so, so we've got the 10 at $40 a pop, okay? If you add those together, you're gonna to end up with $1,650 in the ending inventory. Now here's the catch. When you use a periodic, ending invent, or a periodic inventory system, the whole idea is that you're gonna say, okay, at the end of the month, at the end of the quarter, at the end of the year, we're going to do a physical count of the inventory. We're actually going to go and count the board games. We're going to count, you know, if you're a supermarket, you would count the fruit and so forth. We're going to do a physical count. And what if that count reveals that we only have $1,600 of inventory? Maybe there's a board game missing or something like that. Something has happened where we say, you know what? Actually, we have less inventory than, than what we thought. And so... It could be that something was lost. It could be it was stolen by an employee. Any number of things could have happened. So if that's the case, if we say, okay, well, we calculate cost of goods sold as $1,500 and ending inventory as $1,650, but then we see, in fact, that we only have $1,600 of ending inventory, clearly, then we need to say, okay, well, somehow we lost $50 of inventory. So what we're going to do is we're going to increase our cost of goods sold by $50 from 1500 to 1550 and then we're going to reduce our inventory to 1600 So basically the idea is if we actually count the inventory and we say, look, we only have $1,600 of inventory on hand, then we need to make an adjustment and say, okay, well, obviously we lost some extra inventory along the way, not just due to a sale, but due to losing some inventory, misplacing it. And so we're going to increase our cost of goods sold accordingly.